Hello and thank you for coming along to my tips and tricks session. This tip or trick in particular is all about how to insert an image, uh, place it onto your model and then make it look pretty awesome. What I mean particularly and specifically by that is when you have an image in within, I mean Inventor is a mechanical design package. Most images that you place in Inventor on your models are going to be logos of some sort or warning labels or you you know that sort of thing. It's not going to be anything exciting. It's not going to be a, a nice pretty picture of a cartoon or anything like that. So it tend to be logos is quite a, a common one. Now company logos by default tend to have a white background like this. So there's the Autodesk logo, black text with a white background. Now if you place that image and then stamp it onto your model, you're going to get the white background on there. And that looks messy. So what we want to do is remove the white background and just have the logo. How would you do that? Well, you could you could put it into Photoshop and, and sort of mess about with it in Photoshop and remove the white background somehow if you've got those skills, which I don't. Uh, you can do it in Inventor though. Of course you can. So the, the way you do this, I'm going to stamp a logo onto the side uh, arm of this little robot here. So I'm going to edit that particular part and then I'm going to stamp a sketch on this panel here. And then I'm going to select insert image. And it's going to ask me for an image, so I'm going to use my CloudCAD logo and drop it in. There it is. Okay. Alright, the next thing you would tend to do is sort of dimension it up, I guess. You would put it in the right place, which I kind of have to because it's not it's not in the right place right now. So I'm going to have to rotate it a bit. I guess I can align it, use the perpendicular, uh, not perpendicular? Yeah, parallel constraint to make those edges lined up and then I suppose I should put it in place using some dimensions like that. I'm not really too fussed about the exact sizes as long as it's on the panel. That's all I really care about. <laughs> there it is. That'll do. I suppose I can make it a bit bigger. Like that. Right, so that's it in. As you can see, it's got a bit of a, a discoloured background to it. So when I use the decal, 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 whatever, however you pronounce it, command, and then stamp this image onto that face, it's going to look like that. I've got the greyish, whitish background behind the logo, and it just looks bobbins. It looks rubbish. So what I'm then going to do, and I could have done this in the first place, but edit the sketch. Now, when you place an image into a sketch, in your Inventor browser, the image will appear as a child dependent of the sketch. There's Sketch 11, which I've just created. There's the image underneath it. What you then do is you right-click on the image and you go to the image properties. And in here, there is a transparency use mask option. And all you do is tick that and then as if by magic, the background vanishes. Look at that. We now have an absolutely pristine, perfect logo stamped onto our model with no background whatsoever. And it looks absolutely glorious, doesn't it? Now, it's not its not really magic. Um, it works to a certain degree. If you've, if you've got a poor quality image, it may struggle. So you know those images where it's a very low resolution image and it's very blocky. So you get like a distorted blocky effect between the text and the background. If you get that, it doesn't work so well. I've done it with this image here. Um, and that one is actually pretty good as well. Um, I'll turn the uh, perspective off so I can zoom in a bit, a bit further on this. See if I can see any irregularities. So you can see where it starts to distort here. What you, what your ideal aim is, is to have an absolutely perfect white background, pristine perfect white background with a pixel sharp uh, text heading into the white background. So there's no overlap. What you're seeing here is overlap between the white background and the black text, pixelated. Uh, image quality and zoomed out you can't see it but on a lower quality image you would visibly see that blocky effect between the text and the background so you want a, as good a quality image as you can get and that looks pretty awesome that's now stamped on the model it will appear on drawings it'll appear in renders that sort of thing it's all good it's all good so hopefully you found that useful if you did like the video it helps me a lot gets the video shared around and made more popular and i'll be able to make some more thank you very much